Hi guys, still May 20, 2014. Birds are losing their way. Well, many of us have known that for many, many years. They're not just losing their way, we're having mass die-offs. Now, you can listen to the quote-unquote experts tell you that this is not unusual. Well, we all know it is. They're lying. So what what might be the reasons for this? Well, we know that there have been people who have studied the migratory patterns of birds, and it has always been a fascination of biologists, but now they're really kind of fascinated because the birds are not operating, they're not flying how they usually did, and it has been gone kind of tragically wrong since the mid-2000s. So what might be the reason? Might it be that we are saturated in very dangerous electromagnetic frequencies? Well, German researchers discovered in 2004 that the regular experiment that they were experimenting on with, you know, birds and their behaviors and their migratory patterns became erratic. Their behavior was not kind of gelling to how they always operated. Especially while they were observing the European robin. They would not orient themselves in a single direction. They would not hop in a direction. They were shut down. They were completely lost. Changing variables like food, light, cages, lots of things didn't do a thing. For three years, they tried to solve the mystery. And that's when they realized they left out one important variable, the invisible one. The electromagnetic noise coming from all the electronics on the nearby campus. They made a Faraday cage of sorts by using aluminum screens in the cages and the birds started jumping again. It worked. I wish I could live in a Faraday cage. So after spending so many years and so much research just to correct a problem according with, uh, occurring with the original experiment, the sure results presented a new problem to biology and the environment at large. It is amazing that there is so much evidence out there, so many studies, so many studies that have been uh, dated back <laughs> to the 50s. And how is it that these scientists, these biologists, these experts are not getting, uh, getting their hands on all of those studies and the effects of the electromagnetic frequencies? It kind of drives me nuts. Anyway, so they are absolutely sure that the electronic, the electromagnetic effect is real. And that's why they're publishing the results in the journal Nature. Scarily enough, the levels affecting the birds are 1,000 times below World Health Organization guidelines. Being so immersed in electronics, it is going to be a difficult task finding out which electronics are causing birds to lose their way. And unbelievably, they have ruled out cell phone towers. So, anybody who's interested in really doing very hard research, follow the money on this. They're ruling out cell phone towers? Really? Okay. I don't know what to say about that, but and you know what I want to do, say, is that when you read these studies, you can actually question an expert's results. You can question their findings. You can question their conclusions. It's really okay to do that. It's not good to just accept at face value everything that someone is telling you because they've been deemed an expert or a professional, or a scientist, or a researcher. 
So, so far the bird disorientation only happens in large urban and industrial areas or learning campuses, 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 and they ruled out power lines. Well, we know we can rule out power lines because we see birds just sitting on power lines, right? But cell phone signals, because the frequencies they emit are too low and too high respectively, but the frequency band range most responsible is two to five or two gigahertz to five megahertz which would include AM radio and all area electronic equipment. So AM radio has been around since 1920. So why are we seeing a radical, drastic change in bird behavior and their migratory patterns that has started in the... Uh, mid 2000s if that's see some things I read and I just I shake my head and I can't quite figure out but fortunately a physicist who actually um, clearly reviewed the study said that can't have any effect so he's with me on that it can't be that frequency because we've had that frequency for a really long time. So that's not the dangerous frequency. So I'm going to link below to this article. But in the article, you will see red lettering, which are links to other articles to give you more information. And well, let's see. What does an invisible one come up with? Overpowered the dangers of electronic uh, electromagnetic radiation and what you can do about it. It takes you right to Amazon to buy a book. And let's just see. Detrimental effect on mammals. Another activist post article, government agencies battle over adverse impact of cell tower radiation on wildlife. The dangers to people, especially pregnant women and children, of Wi-Fi and the electromagnetic radiation emitted from cell phones and various smart devices are quickly becoming a non-debate to anyone who has investigated the reams of studies available. If you click on that red lettering, it brings you to 34 scientific studies showing adverse health effects from Wi-Fi. Here is an excellent collection of scientific papers finding adverse biological effects or damage to health from Wi-Fi signals, Wi-Fi enabled devices or Wi-Fi frequencies, which are in the range of 2.4 or 5 gigahertz. <sighs> Wi-Fi in schools. And if you click on that, you will find papers finding adverse biological effects or damage to health from Wi-Fi signals. <sighs> and here are all the studies by none other than our government, uh, published on government sites, the government that tells you that Wi-Fi is safe. I will link below to all of these articles, but I will tell you this. I have a really, 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 really hard time with the mass killings of animals, mammals, dolphins, whales, beaching themselves. No, they just haven't lost their way and suddenly found themselves beached on whales. We are killing off life with these very dangerous frequencies. I'll link below to every article that I just visited. I hope you get this information out.